Hey, Dr. Stone here for Doc Sports, and today is Monday, April the 8th. It's the Eclipse Day, along with the National Championship uh, Day game. So we've got some, lots of action coming your way, and uh, at least in that regard, in terms of other stuff, not so much. Okay, kind of a light day, no NBA basketball, just one college basketball game. So a little bit lighter, but baseball is pretty strong. And uh, today in baseball, I have my run line game of the day. It's available right now at the page of Doc Sports. You can check that out. Got just one play. And uh, hey, see what we can do it and nail down some uh, some other winners there. Uh, nothing else, but I will say the um, – NHL com coming back. I've hit th uh, three of my last four. Probably tell you that again tomorrow. Uh, and and with that, I, or no, excuse me, four of my last five in in, in the NHL and twenty three and ten run. So we'll uh, try and have something tomorrow. Got a big card on that one. We've got a big card in the NBA, so we can get some uh, other things going on there. And props had a tough one last night. Boy had a, had a seven unit play with Anthony Davis and um, gets hurt. Okay, gets knocked in the head, doesn't come back in the game. And as it turns out, uh, his rebounds and his uh, backup rebounds goes over. Okay, so would have liked my chances, but didn't happen. Okay, injuries are part of the game. Never likes it when it happens to you, but uh, we'll bounce back still. 61% on props uh, since the, or the last 16 weeks. So we'll see if there's something coming up. And starting starting tomorrow, start looking at MLB props because we're at a point now where uh, every starting pitcher, uh, which is primarily what I do is, is pitching, but that's not all I do, but primarily pitching uh, for props in baseball. And so everybody's got two starts. Uh, by likely by the end of the, tonight, so we'll uh, start really start digging into it. Okay, going forward, and say had a great have a great track record in that. So see if we continue uh, to keep that going. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please do so. West Coast Wise Guys handed out two winners on Saturday uh, for for their picks and continue to do well. And after a, a rough stretch, I've had two winners the last two days. Hopefully, you stopped by the page yesterday at the Doug Upstone page yesterday because uh, you had the Milwaukee Brewers in a comfortable win. So a couple winners uh, were there and see to get hot again okay just get things started off all right let's talk today's free play got connecticut purdue for the national championship excellent matchup from two number one seeds a few things to consider uh purdue is an excellent team playing their best basketball the season i like many people questioned the boilermakers at various points during the season looked rather ordinary at times had some di more difficult games than it seems like they should have but you know what They've hit another gear in the end during the NCAA tournament. Connecticut, boy, they have played like a team on a mission. Okay. Last two years, 11 and 0, straight up and against the spread. Uh, this team is definitely uh, looking at trying to be a generational champion. Okay. Back to back championships. We don't get a lot of that, especially in the more modern world. They got lots of NBA talent that left. Okay. They have a lot of NBA talent uh, uh, this year. Danny Hurley has done as good a job as anybody in, in, in the college game is figuring out how to get to get his players to play hard, to play various ways, recruiting the, the talent level that, that also they can play various ways and how to handle the NIL era. Uh, much like Alabama, I would not be surprised if Purdue hangs around against Connecticut for probably 30 minutes. Uh, difference in the game to me, though, is Zach Eady's going to face someone his size, okay, the entire game, as long as neither one of them gets into foul trouble. And the speed and quickness in the backcourt, to me, favors the Huskies in this one. I think uh, it's impossible. Well, here's one other thing. It's impossible to ignore that the Big East in title games, 7-0, and straight up and against the spread. Big 10, 0 and 7, straight up and against the spread. Okay. I'm going to take Connecticut. It numbers down. It was seven. I'm seeing six and a half. So Connecticut minus the six and a half for today's free play video. Uh, again, just one, one thing going tonight R run line game of the day. Okay. Available at the Doc Upstone page at Doc Sports. It is a night game. Now, the West Coast Wise guys also uh, are all over Connecticut. Uh, I think a little over 80% of the guys were on Connecticut. So I wanted to give you another play as well. And the vast majority are on the under 145. Okay. I will count both of those plays, by the way, from the West Coast Wise guys for their record. So, so there you have it. Okay. Should be a interesting, fun night of watching college basketball. Looking forward to it, as I'm sure all of you are. 
put it in the books then. We move ahead. Then we got NBA, NHL, and, the, of course, baseball. And we got the Masters this upcoming week. So that's a thing that not everybody watches golf, but a lot of people watch the Masters. I will have some selection for sure on that. So this is Doug Upstone for Doc Sports. Good luck to you tonight. I hope to do well myself. And let's re reconvene on Tuesday. Until next time, I'm out.